this third lab exercise will be a little more hands-on than the first two. You will have a chance in this assignment to use MoleView as a molecular design tool, as your tasks include rendering molecules, optimizing their structure, measuring their geometric parameters, and performing customized substitutions on a parent hydrocarbon. The team member roles are set up to ensure that each member of the team has an opportunity to explore all these capabilities in MoleView so that each student should gain experience with the modeling system. Our objectives for this exercise include learning how to upload structures from the database in MoleView and render them in three dimensions, optimizing the structure by performing energy minimization in MoleView, measuring various bond lengths, bond angles, and torsion angles that specify the shape of the molecule, and understanding how molecular shape is affected by steric strain in a large molecule. As we have learned in Module 5, systems featuring alternating single and double bonds, called conjugated pi systems, favor planar geometries so that the p orbitals that combine to form the pi bonds can line up parallel to one another. This is even more true of aromatic systems where resonance stabilization provides a huge energy dividend for cyclic molecules to maintain a planar geometry. Benzene's planar geometry reflects this, as do systems that are comprised of several fused benzene rings, such as triphenylene. Note that the atoms all lie in the same plane in the side views of these aromatic systems. Consider what happens, however, when steric interactions take place in a fused aromatic molecule. In phenanthrene, the two hydrogen atoms present in the middle of the molecule are relatively close together and induce some steric strain into the molecule due to their proximity. In such cases, it is possible that the molecules will adjust to reduce this steric strain by increasing bond lengths and bond angles and twisting into a non-planar geometry. Steric strain can be increased further through the substitution of hydrogen atoms for larger groups. For example, in dimethylphenanthrene, the steric strain is intensified by placing two methyl groups very close to one another. The question we will be interested in exploring through this exercise is, when is the steric strain great enough to cause distortions in the geometry of aromatic systems, and how far can they be distorted? To learn about the effects of steric strain on polyaromatic systems, we will be using MoleView as a modeling tool to first render, then optimize, and finally measure various molecules. As you enter MoleView, you first need to enter the molecule you wish to study in the molecule entry box at the upper left of the screen. MoleView draws from an extensive database of molecular structures to render 3D models of almost any system. To illustrate, we will enter benzene and hit return. The left half shows an editable Lewis structure of the molecule, while the right half contains a model image that can be manipulated with the mouse to view the molecule from different perspectives. Whenever you have opened a new molecule in MoleView, it is a good idea to perform an energy minimization of the structure. This is basically a computational task that finds the molecular geometry that represents the lowest energy. You can find the energy minimization command in the JMOL menu on the upper right. When you choose the energy minimization option, you will see a box in the lower left corner that says calculation in progress and you should wait for the calculation to finish before proceeding with further analysis. We now turn to measuring the geometric parameters of the structure. When you want to measure one or more bond lengths, choose distance under the JMOL menu, then select the two atoms that comprise the bond. The result will be shown on the screen in pink. Note that sometimes when you click on an atom, it does not register and you need to try again. It takes a little practice to get a feel for how to choose atoms to define these parameters. To measure a bond angle, you would choose Angle under the JMOL menu. Then select the three atoms that define the angle with the middle atom representing the vertex of the angle. Again, take care that the program properly registers your choice of an atom as you select the bond angle you wish to measure. Finally, Torsion about a bond is measured as a dihedral angle, which is defined as the angle between two planes. The measurement tool is marked torsion under the JMOL menu. For our purposes, the second and third atoms of the four atoms chosen represent the line at the intersection of the two planes that define the dihedral angle. Suppose we want to measure the dihedral angle formed by two hydrogen atoms and the carbons to which they are both 
bonded in, bo in benzene. We would select one of the hydrogens, then its carbon atom, the carbon atom next door, and its hydrogen to define the torsion angle as shown here. For a planar molecule, these angles should always be 0 degrees or 180 degrees. In part two of the lab exercise, you will be asked to first render 5 helicene in mole view, then selectively substitute other atoms for the two hydrogens with the strongest steric interaction. Once rendered, it is easy to see the two hydrogens that are trying to occupy the same region of space. These cause the molecule to be non-planar. As a first step, you should minimize all the energy so that the structure is at its most stable configuration. You may wish to run energy minimization a few times as the algorithm used by the program adjusts the structure incrementally as it optimizes. To create a model for substituted 5 helicene, choose the atom you wish to insert from the com column shown in the middle of the screen. To illustrate, choose bromine, Br. Once bromine is chosen, you can then click on each of the hydrogens that you wish to replace with bromine. They are very close to one another, so you will need to do this carefully. When you have added the two bromine atoms, click on 2D to 3D to render the new system. Perhaps the most tedious part of this exercise is minimizing the energy of the new structure that you have created. The best way to do this is to first measure the central torsion angle using the torsion tool under the JMOL menu and select the central torsion angle as shown here. You will then need to perform the energy minimization several times until the torsion angle no longer changes from one run to the next. You should find that as the structure gets closer and closer to its most stable shape, each energy minimization will, will be completed quicker. Be prepared to repeat this step many times before the molecule settles into its most stable configuration. When you have reached the minimum energy, you can then measure all the parameters required in the lab report worksheet. As you saw earlier, the analysis procedure is spelled out in the lab background and instructions document. It includes analyzing the geometries of four different aromatic systems of increasing complexity using mole view as a modeling tool. This includes rendering the molecules, minimizing their energy, and measuring bond lengths and angles. You will then apply the same analysis to four substituted versions of 5-helicene, the parent molecule for the spring design. Your analysis should be recorded by completing the information requested on the Lab 3 report worksheet and answering the post-analysis questions. When you have finished this and submitted the report, each team member should complete the lab review quiz within 24 hours. Good luck, and please let me know if you have questions or need extra help with the MolView tool.